Alan, welcome back to AirTech Hunting. We've got the Impact M3 Compact. We're gonna shoot JSB pellets and it's gonna be fun, so sit back and enjoy. We just arrived on the farm. It's a pretty nice day out today. It's our first hunt for 2024. We've got the Impact Compact out here on the table. That's the gun we're gonna shoot with. This is a very efficient setup. We're gonna shoot the 18 grain JSB pellets. We probably only have to fill it once for the day and that's gonna be it. It'll take us through the whole day. We still have the kits with us as well because it's still school holidays here in South Africa, early January. So they're gonna relax in the back of the truck here while we go out and film. And it looks like Maggie has got one already in her sight, so she's gonna take the first shot. Yay! It feels good at 67 meters. Maggie lands the first shot right on the money and makes a perfect impact. So that was a pretty good shot to start the year with. 2024 is starting off with a pop from Maggie. So we're going to sit on this table a little bit because it's super hot out and there's not a lot of wind. And uh, we're going to see what we can get from here and then move on from there. Yes! Oh, <laughs> that was like awesome! Maggie's excitement tells it all as she lands another one. We are using the Element Optics Titan today and we've got it paired with the Eagle Vision Scope Cam system with the GoPro Hero 10. Now this system works really well together and it gives you nice clear footage and it's mainly because this scope is a 34mm tube so it lets through a lot of light and cameras love light and then this also gives 75% of the light to the camera and only 25% to your own eye. So it makes sure that the camera gets the best of everything. And that's what allows you to get that clear image. And it's a really, really nice system. So you guys can uh, check down below. There's links down below for everything. And then you can film your own stuff. <laughs> that is pretty nice. 67 meters and down. Awesome. It is very seldom that you can hold dead on with pellets because shooting pellets in no wind conditions is pretty much a cheat code. And for us having no wind this time of the year is a very rare condition and a situation we want to take full advantage of. The only downside is it can get pretty hot in the sun with no wind. <laughs> down he goes. I think that one's a little bit further. I just held a little higher and down he goes. Probably about... 70 meters around there, 69 meters. I should have held even higher because this one still hits a little low. And it's not always easy to range these small birds, especially when there's a lot of branches and twigs in the way. Yay, got that one at 68 meters. Maggie almost missed this one because a small gust of wind came through as you can see by the feathers here. It's just testament on how sensitive these pellets are to wind. Yes, got that one at 67 meters. Maggie's next shot travels straight again with no influence from the wind. Yay, at 66 meters. Maggie takes down another one, but by now it was getting too easy and too repetitive, so it was time for us to get up and get moving. So we can't sit there all day. It's very fun for us, but it's gonna get boring for you guys. So we gotta force ourselves to head out and, and get going again. <laughs> now I found the best way to carry this impact compact is just grab it by the grip and then hang it on your side like that. It's nice and short, so you're not gonna bump the barrel or anything. Um, I have slinged this gun before, but honestly that doesn't really work very well. The gun is very, uncomfortable in that sense because it's a tactical platform it's got a lot of sharp angles and stuff so if you sling it against your body it's not very comfortable so just carrying like that is pretty comfortable and it works and it's not too tiring uh, actually pretty okay yeah we've got a sparrow here oh got him i middled this one but it didn't go down as i expected but he fell down to the ground and expired Maggie was up next and she quickly found another one. 
Yay! Got that one. 33 meters. Unlike me, Maggie hits this one solid, resulting in a loud pop. Maggie's just checking on the tower there whether it's uh, the... it's a falcon. The falcon. <laughs> Looks like a pigeon from he's here. Just, he's so small. Yeah, it's a very small one. So he confuses us quite a lot. There goes a few sparrows. We're going to sit over there. Yay, got that one as well. Same distance. Another loud pop as Maggie hits this one center mass again. On this branch over here. Yeah, it's one. <laughs> Don't see him. No. <laughs> I'll take them quickly. Okay. You grab the camera there. Yeah, the difficult shot. <laughs> Got him. Also same distance. Yeah, that was a difficult shot because he was behind all those branches. Uh, but yeah, got him. Not an easy one to see and had to squeeze the shot through all those branches and twigs. But luckily in the end, I got him. Okay, so we're moving on again just to get a different perspective. And it's nice to walk around as always. Otherwise it can get pretty repetitive and boring. Some people like that, but because we're filming, we don't like to do that because we want to give you something new to watch every now and again. <laughs> we didn't go too far and Maggie found the first pigeon for the day. Yes, got that one and down it goes. Maggie pulls this one to the left, but the angle allows the pellet to still hit him through the vitals. Time to fetch the pigeon, but they've oh, barricaded us. It's the weirdest You can go through there if you want. Want to take the camera? There it is. Dead on the spot. Here's the proof. <laughs> yeah, it's the first one in the bag. Whoa, oh, there's, there's another, another one. one. And out yeah. he goes. I don't think we're going to get a lot of these today. It's not really That's pigeon. That's why I wanted it. Yeah, it's not really pigeon weather. But when it's so calm and hot, they usually, this time of the day, they start hiding underneath the roofs and stuff. That's why I'm saying it's not really pigeon weather. Um, they are here. It's just that they are in their nests or underneath the roof structures, hiding away from the sun and just chilling out. Uh, but sometimes they go out, we scare them out and they'll go sit on the roof for a quick little bit and then we just have to be quick. And body shots ain't perfect. Not for me either, but sure. At least we've got one. Here we go again. There's quite a lot of flies around as well. So if you hear the, the buzzing noise on the mics, that's what it is. They keep circling us and sitting on us. It's actually very irritating. But it's because there's no wind or very little wind. So the flies are very active and then the cows have left us some landmines everywhere so we're going to be super careful they probably escaped and uh, came through here but you can see the landmines are everywhere here oh, there's a lot of sparrows activity down there on the ground and in the trees so let's try them from here seems like this is going to be the spot for the day this is where they are And we've got a cliffhanger, and there he goes. I got him in the head, causing the nurse to disconnect and clamp down on the branch. They seem to be very active over here. So what I'm thinking is finding a nice place in the shade over here to shoot from. This is getting super hot. Yeah, I think this will work. And there's some nice bricks here for Maggie to stand on. Got him. I had very little to work with here, but I got him through all the twigs. The shot caused him to clamp down again, but in the end you can see him falling down to the ground through the screen. 
So I've got the gun nicely balanced here so you can see where the balance point is on this gun. So the balance point is right underneath the trigger there. You can see the bipod's not touching anything and the grip isn't touching anything either. And it's just sitting on the back there, nicely balanced. So now you know. Yay, got that one at 55 meters. Maggie holds dead on and gets another solid impact. Uh, so Maggie made a plan, she's got the bricks and a piece of wood <laughs> to get the length, length up but she's still a little bit on the short side so I'm going to see if I can find something else. I'm still side. not coming in high heels. <laughs> yes, got that one at 49 meters. This one gets hit in the head and down he goes. And there's more. Yes, got that one. <laughs> nice. 57 meters. As I said before, pellets and no wind is almost a cheat code as Maggie hits another one. Okay, let's see. Got a shot on this one. Yeah, got him. Straight on. Right through the back of the neck and he is toast. And down he goes, awesome. Another easy shot straight through the middle. Yay! Okay, it's hanging there on a twig but it's definitely dead <laughs> at 49 meters. So at least a falcon or a crow will have something to eat. Definitely. <laughs> These sparrows have insanely fast reflexes. As you can see, this one reacts before he gets impacted. So we are, I think, heading back for some longer shots from the table. That was so much fun. <laughs> That's all Maggie wants to do today, is shoot from the table. In luxury. <laughs> Okay, so we're back at the truck, back at Maggie's favorite place for the day. Yeah, I think I'm going to park here. <laughs> <laughs> the kids are still in the back of the truck, they're enjoying themselves. So yeah, we're going to park here for a little bit, take a few shots and then see what happens. Yay, I got a pop out of a pellet at <laughs> 68 meters. <laughs> nice. Yeah, these sparrows pop extra loud when you hit them in the center like this. Yes, with pellets. Boom. Okay, I'm just loving this gun. I absolutely agree with Maggie because on a calm day like today you need nothing more than a compact PCP shooting 18 grain pellets. So with that shot we decided to call it a day. We had loads of fun and it proves that all you need is a 22 cal PCP with lightweight pellets to have a blast of a day. Especially if you don't have to contend with any wind. Well that is it for us. As you can hear in the back there they are riding their quad bikes and bikes so that's our cue to end it because it's going to be difficult to film from here. If you like this content please hit the like button. Remember to subscribe, follow us on Instagram and then we'll see you next time. Cheers. Yeah.